my advice to anyone ready to start the program would to be take a deep breath and relax. I think when I started, I, I had come straight from undergrad, so I was kind of in that mode of studying still, but it, it's a big step to go from an undergraduate to a graduate degree, and whether you're someone transitioning directly or you've taken a little bit of time off, it's definitely something new. And it can be a little bit overwhelming, but you can't lose yourself in that process because the exams, the studying, the late nights, the anatomy lab, it's all great and it's for the end goal, but it's also important to take care of yourself enjoy time with friends, family. The reason why I chose Rush is because I believe that Rush is in the forefront of healthcare. I also really like the longer curriculum here because I know that when I get out and become a PA, I'll be more ready. When I applied to PA school, I had other options where the class sizes were much larger than they are at Rush. But when considering this, I didn't want to feel like just a number or just another face in the crowd. I wanted my faculty and my classmates to know me and get to know the true person that I am. And ever since choosing Rush and making that decision, I have not regretted it. I chose Rush because of a, a number of things. I liked that the hospital was closely affiliated with the school and uh, there was a lot of overlap. A lot of lecturers who come and teach some of the classes are also the same people that are going to be precepting us in our rotations. And I thought that was very valuable. It's going to be a tough first year, but really you're going to get through it and you're going to develop relationships that are going to blossom into friendships and that's going to be so important for not only the first year but for the rest of your career as a PA professional. It was scary uh, as you can imagine as a mature student uh, taking the leap and just completely changing careers was challenging. I would say I was motivated by here at Rush that I wasn't the only one. So in my class for example there are three other students like myself uh, who decide to change careers late in life and we're finding it very rewarding. The best part about being part of a smaller cohort is really getting to know my classmates. Um, we're together all the time, morning till night, five days a week, and so we've gotten very close. A lot of us have gotten married and have had kids and um, it's been a really sort of family-like atmosphere. Well, I think a lot of people think that it's so much harder, but having a family is just my normal life. It's just what's natural for me. And so adding school in is as difficult for me as it would be for anybody else, even without a family. You just have to be very flexible and you have to learn how to adapt to what's going on. We have amazing sports teams, um, a lot of culture. There's great museums, great food. Um, you know, being from here, I can say that I've gotten to enjoy this my whole life, but I think it's really wonderful as a new person coming to this city to get to experience it for the very first time. More than anything, everybody tells you that PA school is very difficult, but the pace uh, at which you learn is, is incredible. Um, and it, I've found that I, I'm very grateful for that and I'm actually very grateful because it's pushed me to be a better person and be a better practitioner ultimately in the long run. What we get to do as first year students is participate in some of the free clinics and do some volunteer work over there. So that's a really amazing experience, you know, just getting out there, kind of getting over all the nerves that you have the first time and just really reminding yourself why you're doing this. You know, what I've been surprised about is that when it was time to start the clinical rotations, it was the acceptance from the fellows and other clinical practices where they're really looking to hear your opinion and they really take time to educate and welcome you to the service. And so what's been great about this year is getting to see the variety of roles that PAs can play in cardiovascular surgery, whether it's being in the OR, you know, assisting the surgeon firsthand, or being in the ICU taking care of patients after surgery, or seeing them in clinic before surgery. There's really a lot that a PA can offer in cardiovascular surgery, and it's really been a joy to kind of see what the different options are as a PA in a surgical role. My current clinical experience at Rush has been phenomenal. I actually chose to do internal medicine throughout my third year here, which is a unique uh, program that Rush offers in that in the third year you get to kind of subspecialize within one area. So the reason that, that internal medicine attracted me is because I've done everything from infectious diseases to cardiology to outpatient internal medicine. And I've really gotten a broad knowledge of medicine in general, and I get to see patients in all different settings. The advice that I would give to an incoming student, uh, regardless of the program, is to be flexible and be open-minded. I think it's uh, very important for any new student uh, in anything, but specifically in PA, 
uh, school to be open-minded and to be kind of honest with yourself. Understand that there are going to be weaknesses and there are going to be strengths and uh, you need to be aware of that and embrace that because it'll uh, allow you to grow and be a better person overall and ultimately be a better provider for your patients.